Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm excited to do, it's gonna be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series I post every single Wednesday where we chat over all of the new makeup releases and talk about what looks interesting and what doesn't look so interesting. I always link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist and let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome, welcome to a new week. So let me jump into my OOTD. So today, this is what I have on. I am this skirt here. I think I got it from, I want to say papaya clothing at a mall in Vegas. And then this top um, actually came with like a set from Laura's Boutique, but I thought that they would look cute paired together. I am still rocking my slippers because that's what I do. But I have a birthday party tonight that I'm hoping host for one of my friends here. So as soon as I get done filming, I have to go pick up like the charcuterie board. We're having a pinata. So I got to fill the pinata. So I was like, let me just get all ready so I can just get everything ready to go for the party and uh, then have a little party for my friend's birthday. Uh, my makeup, I will link everything down below. I didn't do any filming on this look, but I did use the new Glam Light Dirty Martini palette. And I have a trying new makeup here on YouTube. And then I also have a tutorial on my Instagram with the palette. So if you'd want to see either of those, I can link them. But I'm going to go ahead and scoot over so I can add in some photos. I'm also filming this on Monday. As you can tell, I've done nothing with my hair. But my extensions get moved up tomorrow, Tuesday. So that's why I'm filming today because... That appointment usually takes the entire day and my hair is just like a lost cause at this point Like I have extensions not attached anymore to my head. Like we just need to get them moved up I've actually had to reschedule my appointment twice so Hair is not on fleek. So we're just not gonna judge that and call it a day. Okay uh, So I will link all of the accounts that I'm reading from down below um, Once again, I'm kind of like looking over all of my screenshots from the week and nothing's really like jumping out at me of like, let's talk about that one first. I guess maybe the new release from Huda Beauty. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about that one first. Like I said, I'll link the accounts down below. I'm starting with Trendwood One, and then I think I have some hot fire at Dot Makeup also. But Huda Beauty is coming out with the Rose Quartz Collection. So we have the Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette, which is gonna be $67 with 18 shades. Also the Silk Balm Rose Quartz Illuminating Lip Balm. That's gonna be 21. There's the Highlighting Dew, which is 39 a brush set for 35 and then a peel off face mask for 39 some eye and lip essentials for 125 and that's going to be available on november 1st okay all right so for the eyeshadow palette i don't know it didn't really get me going i'm not gonna lie when i first saw it it kind of reminded me of the other one that looks kind of like this and once again like the same thing with the rare beauty holiday palette i was like did we already talk about like are they just like re-promoting something i don't know i mean i know it's not like exactly the same by any means but it just to me that's what it looked like and so i kind of like passed over it i'm not really sure what i'm looking at like what is in the dish is that a highlighter what's go i what is that <clears throat> i don't think i want that that's the quartz glow what is that is that the mask? I don't know what's in that dish, but I, I don't want that. I will say that the lip balm, I do really like the Huda Beauty lip balm. And I'm honestly like, I'm almost done with my silk balm. Just like the regular, the first one that came out. I really like that one. So maybe I would pick this one up. Uh, I will say that I did just place a Sephora order on like Friday or something like that. So I will have a haul coming. I think maybe I'm going to do a try on haul. So that video, as soon as I get that order in, I will go ahead and get that video filmed. Um, and I'm kind of bummed with myself because I should have either bought a new lip balm or I know she came out with like maybe like a honey one or something like that. And now this one, the Sephora sale is also coming up. So I really only tried to grab the products that I've been really wanting like right now. Um, because otherwise I'd rather just wait and be able to get, you know, the 20% the off or whatever it is. But I would say out of the full collection, the lip balm is what calls to me the most. I don't know. I'm curious to get your thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. And then speaking of lip glosses that I love, Lawless Beauty has new shades and the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. So these are $25. So we have the three new shades. Again, a favorite lip gloss of mine. And again, one that I'm almost out of. I actually already have a backup of the other one. I got another one sent to me in PR, which I was so excited for because I started going through this like crazy. Uh, if you want something that really does plump up your lips, but without any sort of tingling, there's no no tingling no feeling at all it just really makes your lips look bigger it's so beautiful i would highly highly recommend the lawless gloss oh i guess i should probably do why am i just thinking of that the sephora recommendations oh boy 
Okay, <laughs> gotta put that on my list to do soon. Be a beauty influencer, Samantha, what are you doing? <laughs> Just going along with lip products, uh, Charlotte Tilbury has a new lipstick shade coming out. This has been the new Kissing Lipstick in Famously Pink, and this is $34. I really do enjoy the Charlotte Tilbury formula. I wear a lot of their lipsticks. I do prefer the Matte Revolution. Uh, Very Victoria is a favorite of mine. I don't mind the Kissing formula, but I probably don't need a new lipstick. It looks it, it looks pretty, don't get me wrong, but uh, I did order a new lipstick and a new lip liner in my Sephora haul that, uh, that will be coming. All right, uh, I see a new eyeshadow palette from Dominique Cosmetics, and this is the Coral Blossom Palette, and this one has 10 shades. It's gonna be $42, and there's also a bundle for 68 where you get the palette, a lip liner, and a lipstick. I don't know, this one didn't really like do it for me when I first saw it, I just was kind of like meh about it. One thing that I find interesting about Dominique Cosmetics is, I don't know if I feel like they really have like a branding to them, because every time they do a release, I feel like it looks different. Like when I was scrolling through Trend Mood and looking at everything, I wouldn't have known who the, this brand was. Um, you know, it's a pretty palette. It kind of makes me think a little bit more like springtime, whereas right now I'm kind of going for a little bit more fall. You know, I'm in the U.S., so we're going in, we're, we're in fall. Um, and so that's kind of like where I'm going with my makeup look. So I don't think that's one that I'm interested in right now. I see a collaboration coming out with Pure Cosmetics and Nabella. So this is, let's see, we have the Embrace Your Face Eye and Cheek Palette, the Celebrate You Creamy Lip Chubby, that's funny, the Refresh Brightening Cleanser, and the Reset Detoxifying Mask. So this is going to be available October 29th, so in a few days here. All right. Um, you know, it's interesting because I feel like I haven't really talked about Pure Cosmetics in a while when it comes to new releases. So um, I do like Nabella. I follow her on uh, TikTok, and um, I think she's someone just she's someone really inspiring to watch. So you know, a big congratulations to her on that. I don't know if there's anything that I really need. I, I know she's very into like the self care. Um, that's kind of like the content that I like to watch from her. So I think that you know the the collaboration definitely makes sense to her. Um, but I don't think it's anything that I'm personally going to need to go grab for myself. It's also a new collaboration with Mac Cosmetics and Lisa. All I really see right now is lipsticks and eyeshadow palette, highlighter, blush, eyeliners, and more. And I just see coming soon to the website. So I'm not familiar with the collaborator um, and nothing is really jumping out to me. Mac Cosmetics is one that does a lot of collabs and does a lot of collections. And sometimes it just is like a lot and a little bit overwhelming. So um, not something that I'm going to be interested in myself. I see that Morphe is doing a collaboration with Disney. Uh, this is the Mickey and Friends collection. So we have an artistry palette for $32 that has 35 shades, a mega matte lip trio for $20, a six piece brush set for $28, a hand mirror for $18. And right now I just see coming soon. This comment that I see is hilarious. Disney must be suffering due to COVID. They'll collab with anyone. <laughs> she. Oh, this does not stir my makeup lines um at all i'm not a huge morphe fan nor am i like a big big disney like i'm not like rah, crazy disney uh not crazy disney that's rude that's not what i meant to say but i'm not like rah rah disney okay you know what i'm trying to say uh and then especially like the more colorful palette really not doing it for me but yeah disney has definitely done a lot of collabs i say it like it's like one person and not a whole corporation but yeah they've definitely done a lot of makeup collabs but nothing that really nothing that really gets me going uh let's see from best may cosmetics speaking of disney um we have the 10th princess from the princess collection and this is tiana so this has the refillable metal enameled compact and matching lipstick it's 125 dollars limited edition there's only 500 units so again, same as always, as I've been saying with these, it's not really a me kind of thing, maybe more of like a collector type of thing. Um, the lipstick looks very pretty, like this kind of like dark berry, but not one that I wear very often. And then also from Best May Cosmetics, we have for Halloween, the Victorian Spider Compact. Inspired by the Victorian trend to make beautiful jewelry of insects and spiders, features a gothic spider web, silver plated design on a black enamel and Swarovski crystals on the body of the sculpted spider. The compact is refillable with a moon and stars duo highlight powders. Okay, so it's a split pan of sparkling highlights. All right, so this is going to be $101 and $28.50 for the refill and limited edition, and this is going to be available now. Okay, so, like, that's fun. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Mel Thompson, like, with her tattoos on, like, the Tiny Marvels palette with, like, the bugs on it and everything. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Mel. 
in that sense. Uh, you know, it's more expensive at the 101. I'm, I'm personally not like gonna love seeing a spider compact on, that's just me, you know, not saying anything for people who would like it, but it's just like not a me type of thing. So I would be passing over that one. <laughs> More from Halloween. This is from She Glam Official, the Wretched Romance Collection. We have the Color Web Eyeshadow Palette for $9. There's a Beauty Sponge for $2.50, a lipstick set for $10, and an eyeliner set for $10. All right, again, just kind of not my vibes. I'm not really like a Halloween type of person. Um, I know Mitch sent me a photo of Wet n Wild's holiday collection got sent to my old house in Iowa. So Mitch, you know, sent me the photo and was like, do you want me to... To ship anything to you and I was like you can just give that to your nieces because I'm I'm just not like a Halloween type of person it's not really for me so uh, I'm gonna pass on that one uh, I see some new releases coming from Guerlain for holiday this is available at Sephora so we have the gold pearls light revealing pearls of powder limited edition powder that's a mouthful for $64. There's also the terracotta gold limited edition bronzer for $56. There's a lipstick and gold brick for $34. Limited edition case for $37.50. There's also cream eyeshadows and a gel eyebrow pen. Probably not really anything for me. I don't really go for Guerlain all that much. So probably something that I can skip over. Uh, I see for more holiday from Makeup Revolution, we have some sets and also advent calendars. So they have an advent calendar for $58, for $48. There's a vault for $85. The Friends 12 Days of Christmas advent calendar for $60. A cookie tin for $38. Uh, let's see. So yeah, quite a, quite a few different sets for holiday. I'm not really a huge Makeup Revolution fan. Usually advent calendars aren't going to be like up my alley just because of my makeup collection. But they're really fun gift ideas or stocking stuffers. Like I feel like I say that every week and yet I still somehow manage to make someone mad in the comments. <laughs> about like it doesn't matter that it's not for you it's for other people I'm like I don't know how many times I can say I know that but this video is called will I buy it <laughs> like I don't care what you buy I don't think you should care what I buy but I don't know here we are <laughs> like you know it's not gonna be for me uh I see a new shade uh from Glossier in the balm.com and this is in a cookie butter so this is for holiday uh, and this is limited edition. It's going to be $12. I actually really do like the Glossier Balm.com. I'm not going to lie. And a few years ago, I turned all of my friends onto that. I just had the regular one, but cookie butter also sounds really nice. I wish Glossier was easier to get because it's like, I kind of don't want to order it from the website just for one ba lip balm, but I would like totally buy the cookie butter one. I just don't want to only buy a $12 lip balm and then have to pay, you know, a ton for shipping. <laughs> That's my life. Now I see a new collection from Tom Ford. This is the Lost Cherry Collection. So we have the eyeshadow quad for $89. There's lipsticks for $57. Uh, a cushion compact, a perfume. Some items might be an Asia exclusive. And looks like it's going to be available now. So I will link anything that I can find down below. I don't think really anything for me. I really never got into like the Tom Ford quads or anything like that. Um, the perfume, you know, probably, probably not so much for me. So I just really never got into the Tom Ford makeup. So I'm sure I'm going to pass over that one. Um, but more holiday from Burberry. We have their collection. We have the iconic face and eye palette with four eyeshadows, the kisses, the kisses pearl lipsticks available now in Asia and then coming soon to the website. Again, Burberry makeup, not really one that I got into and nothing about this really screams like I should probably purchase it. So I'm going to pass on that. Again, I have a haul coming up, so sometimes when I purchase makeup, I tend to be able to skip things a little bit easier because it's like I'm still waiting for my order to come in, which I'm very excited. I can't wait for it because I ordered a new Dior powder, and today I'm like scraping at my powder. I'm like, please, please, I just need a few more days. <laughs> uh, I just didn't have time to be able to run to Sephora, so I had to make an online purchase, but... Hopefully it gets here soon. Uh, some more holiday from Juvia's Place at their collection. We have eyeshadow palettes for $15, an eye kit for $26, lip kits for $23, an eyeliner kit for $23, and also some brushes. Okay. All right. Um, you know, kind of flipping through the photos, looks like it's I Live, I Love Ice collection. Okay. So I get that. You know, they look very interesting. Blue is not my typical shade that I go to. Um, you know, I've been more into greens lately, but I just feel like the colors, it looks really cool. Like this blue eyeshadow palette in the different shades, like looks very, very cool. I just can't imagine myself really reaching for it all that much. So I don't think that this is really going to be one that I'm going to need to grab. How could I forget 
to roast myself. Here we go. Okay, this was really fun to read the comments on this. Wowzers. And I love that the first comment that I saw on this said March Beauty Word. Here we go. <laughs> and then the other tag started coming in. I was like, oh my, my, my. So this is a new collaboration with Alta and Pixar, which I believe is like a movie studio or something like that, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So it includes three collections. So we have Tours. Toy Story, not Troy Story, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and Monsters will be available October 24th, 24th online at Alta Beauty, so I will have it linked down below. Okay, so obviously the big question on everyone's mind, of course, is have I seen these movies? Okay, Toy Story, yes, I love Toy Story. I'm pretty sure I've only seen the first Toy Story, though. I think there's, like, two, two there's, to, there's definitely Toy Story 2, and I want to say there's three, and maybe even four, I'm not sure. I've only seen the first one, but I liked it. You know, Buzz Lightyear, love it. You know, Woody. You know, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. But I did like Toy Story. Finding Nemo, I've never seen the full movie. I volunteered one year at an elementary school and I remember like during some of the like snow days or whatever when the kids couldn't go outside, I remember starting Finding Nemo and I thought it was a super cute movie, but I never actually got to finish the whole thing. <laughs> Bummer. And then Monsters, Inc., I have never seen that movie. So I'm one and a half. I'm one and a half for three. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. But I was around my friends when I said I hadn't seen Monsters, Inc. and they were all like, what? And I'm like, what? I've also never seen, okay, hi, hi. We decided to have a movie night the other night and what gets turned on but the movie American Psycho? I have not been able to stop thinking about what I saw in that movie and I watched maybe the first seven minutes and I was out. At one point I had my eyes shut and my hands over my ears so hard, it my hands were shaking because I was like, I didn't even want to hear the sounds of that movie. And then I made my friends go take me to Donuts. We went and got pink box at 11.30 p.m. because I was so traumatized by what they made me watch. So, you know, the next time my friends ask for a movie night, I might just pass because I don't ever want to see American Psycho ever. I don't even want to keep thinking about it. Anyways, this collection, uh, really nothing's gonna do it for me though. Like I just a lot of these collaborations just like really don't get me going. So I don't know. Love to hear your thoughts, of course. Uh, and then I see with makeup eraser they have the villains a seven day set. So this is $25. So I do have quite a few makeup makeup erasers. I like this idea though. I think it's cute. Like I feel like makeup eraser is a fun one to do like their collabs with or their collections and they've done a lot of them because I mean you can use your makeup erasers for a long time. So especially if you buy a seven day set, which that was the last one I bought. I want to say it was like a pineapple one maybe or lemon one or something like that. Um, you know, those can last you for a long time, but I think that's cute. Just not something that I personally need. And then I saw on Hot Fire Dot Makeup, this is from Summer Fridays, their new limited edition Lip Butter Balm Trio with new tint and flavor. So it's going to be available now at Sephora and it's going to be $48. Okay, I don't think I've tried their lip balms. I haven't tried a ton from Summer Fridays. I got the Jet Like Mask because a lot of people recommended it and I did not like it at all. So I haven't really tried a whole lot from them, but that's available. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather grab the, um, the Cookie Butter one. That sounds a little bit more me, but I also don't need a new lip balm okay i just thought this was really cool so i wanted to mention it but uh lights lacquer which is kathleen lights nail polish brand they did a collaboration with friends so this is really neat so i do get my nails done usually about once a month i go to a salon and i do the hard gel i used to do dip manicures but here in vegas i've actually switched to the hard gel so that's what i do so i don't really use my own nail nail polish and I do like gel pedicures on my toes so I don't really do nail polish um so a lot of times I kind of skip over talking about them but I think that this is so cool lights lacquer and friends like I've been watching Kathleen lights for so many years and her love of friends has always been like top notch so to see a collab like this I think is so freaking cool and I'm like how in the world did you do that like it just is like mind boggling like as a businesswoman like that's just like mind boggling to me that you were able that she was able to do something like that i think that's so cool so the full collection um is 71 dollars for the bundle or 950 each there's also nail art stickers for seven dollars and a coffee mug for 19. 
will be available October 29th on the website. So a huge congratulations for Kathleen. Um, she had put on her Instagram stories that she was crying all day that they announced it. And I wrote in, was like, this is so epic. And she wrote back like the crying emojis. And I was just like, I'm so happy for you. Like, that's such a cool thing. And like how inspiring to see, you know, just as someone who owns my own business and, you know, wants to continue to grow and like expand and do cool things to see someone who, you know, started everything herself all the way back from YouTube. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like YouTubers don't get enough credit, especially beauty YouTubers, but we're entrepreneurs. <laughs> like when you support us, when you support our channel, when you use our codes, when you buy our collabs, like we are entrepreneurs who just tried something new and like put ourselves out there and took risks. And some of us like quit jobs in order to be able to try to do this. And I, to see people then create businesses from it or put out different products from it, I, I just, to me, that's so inspiring. And, you know, especially I'm always such an advocate for female entrepreneurs and women supporting women. I just think that it's such a cool, cool thing. So I get super bummed when I see people complain about like, codes or collabs but then you have no problem going to like the giant corporations and supporting their pockets and everything and there's so so many amazing youtubers that are self-made and like just kept going and just kept trying and just kept working harder and harder and i just think that's so inspiring so i don't know i think this was really cool i remember i was driving when i saw it and i was like ah! <laughs> like uh, that's amazing so I don't know. I think that's really neat. Huge congratulations to Kathleen Lights. Like, that's just awesome. Okay, and then lastly, to finish up with some beauty news. So now, Sigma Beauty Favorites, you can find some of their products available at Target.com. So I saw this in their stories. This is super cool. Um, I see some of the eyeshadow palettes. Like I can see the Rosie palette, some brushes, um, some of their cleaning supplies. Those are going to be available at Target.com. Sigma Color Cosmetics, uh, Brush Care. Like this is, that's super cool. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of Target, so I'm wondering if Sigma will come in stores also, because right now all I see is available online. But that is super neat to see. Um, I feel like Target is picking up, um, you know, more brands and they have their whole like Ulta Beauty partnership that's supposed to be coming into play. You know, Sephora with Kohl's. Um, I don't know. I think that's really cool to see. So I wanted to mention that from Sigma Beauty. Uh, and then after that, I think that is everything. Wait, hold on. Let me double. I like to double check myself just to make sure nothing popped up as I have been, as I have been, what, who? Something more has popped up as I've been sitting here, but it looks like we are good to go. So that is everything for this week's Will I Buy It video. Definitely let me know what you thought of all of the new makeup releases. What are you interested in grabbing? Uh, as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.